Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of Adjusted. I'm playing Dark Souls to Skull of the First Sin Strength's Build. Last episode we did uh, the Doors of Ferris, and today we're going to go and deal with Bryson Cove Tildora. I also forgot to go and show off these weapons. I don't have them upgraded quite quite yet, I will eventually, but these things have some pretty good scaling, and aside from that, I think this is just like a kind of a normal straight sword. It has more power to it though, it's heavier I think also. Yep, I'm overweight already. And then you also have the Red Rust Scimitar, which is then a curved sword. I will level these things up, and we're gonna go and see how how good or bad they actually are. <laughs> but for this episode, I think I'm gonna go run around with stuff like the Royal Greatsword. Does this thing do bleeding damage? Uh, yep. Does bleeding damage and a lot of other damage. <laughs> Alright, let's get a move on. I'm gonna have to do something pretty dang insane in this area, which I will explain once I go and do it. But it's basically going to require me to kill every single enemy to the point that they will not respawn anymore. So I will have to see... Um, I'll just have to see how... Uh, if I need anything around here from enemy drops or whatever. If I don't, I'll just I'll just go and do that stuff off camera. Well, I'm definitely going to do it off camera, but... If I don't uh, need anything from this area, I can do this without any worries. Otherwise, I would first have to get the items that I need from this area and then go and deal with... Um, the thing. <laughs> yes. We also uh, get kind of introduced. We could run into these guys earlier. But we kind of get introduced to the falconer enemies. These enemies, I would say, are... Uh, it's pretty dang nasty, I would say. They can screw you over in a lot of different ways. And, yeah. They're not fun. <laughs> well, I don't know, man. They're, they're, they're not the easiest enemies. Let me say it like that. At least, sometimes. I don't know. I think they're just like another basic kind of enemy. Those enemies can also drop... Um, oopsie. Those enemies can also drop sunlight uh, metals. If you want to farm sunlight metals, this, I would say, is the best place to farm them. Right? I do need to watch out with the amount of pigs that I kill, because... If there's one thing that needs to stay alive, uh, then it's going to be the pigs. Because I'm going to need the pigs to get uh, one of the weapons. It is ridiculously convoluted and very weird and kind of funny, but we're just gonna see how, like, you know what, well, I'm gonna try to explain it. So the thing I'm gonna have to do is bring one of these pigs over to a mushroom patch much deeper in the stage. I'm gonna have to go pretty dang far into the stage while a pig is following me and keeping it alive. Of course, if I need to deal with enemies, then the pig is also going to attack me, and the chance of me attacking the pig and killing him are pretty dang high at that point. So, I'm probably going to kill every single thing until it stops spawning. And then we'll somehow get these pigs through this area. <laughs> I might need to look up a guide for that, because I'm not sure how I'm going to deal with that. At first, I thought I only needed to bring him to a certain point, and I was like, yeah, I can deal with that. But then I properly read what was on the wiki, and I was like, oh, that's far away. <laughs> Let me go into the well. I probably should have picked up that item, but oh well. There's another pig down here. I did not mean to do a jumping attack, but I'm not particularly complaining about it. Oh yeah, I also have my uh, pine resin. Can I get rid of it? Thank you. I don't need that right now. So, in here we have a chest. Another thing that I forgot to mention earlier in the game, so when you... If you want to see what a, like if an enemy is a mimic, there's two ways that you can see it. One way, I think, you should be able to see this thing move a little bit, or breathe. But that's a very time-consuming process and a little bit annoying to do. The thing you can take a look at is if they have these little lock pieces on them. If they have the lock pieces on them, then it's a mimic. Otherwise, it's not a mimic. Right. And just like I said earlier, attack him once, or a couple of times maybe, or whatever, but... You do not want to be right next to a mimic when they go uh, when they go out of their chest, because then you'll probably be grabbed by them. We get the staff of wind, wisdom, and dark leggings. I think dark leggings are a reference to the dark, uh, or like not, a, they're, uh, they're they're just the dark wraith armor from Dark Souls One. And I think that's it for this little uh, campsite. And now I get to go and deal with. The next part. I do have some iron arrows, so I think I can just go and shoot this thing. 
break the wood, kill the dude, and the other dude's also gonna die. Otherwise, they would destroy the little barricade themselves and make the boulder drop on your head and probably kill you in one shot. So, yeah. Wanna be careful because these peasants mean freaking business. Flame butterfly, nice. Right, let me go and do a strong attack. Maybe? No? Hmm. I do really like the way that the greatswords attack in this game. Or like certain greatswords, because not all greatswords have this type of moveset. But I do quite like that type of moveset. In Dark Souls 3 there's, I think it's only... Wait, no, is it only? I don't remember, but there's like a specific couple of uh, greatswords that have this type of moveset. These guys can also do a, quite a sizable amount of damage. And as you can see, they can also curse here with their weapons, so... I want to be careful. I got a freaking peasant hat. I think this hat is pretty dang glorious though. Yeah. <laughs> nice. I'm not gonna wear it though. So I think I've run around with this for a little bit. Um, now we get to deal with an old knight weapon. Old knight weapons do quite a sizable amount of damage, but they also have pretty craptacular durability. I will be back in a moment though. Because <laughs> I need to do something. Uh, okay. Alright, I'm back after... Uh, after very swiftly needing to go to the bathroom. <laughs> yes, my friends, that is where I needed to go. That is what I need to do. I suddenly felt the urge to go to a bathroom. Hey, man, you gotta go to the bathroom, you gotta go to the bathroom. And as long as I can do it, <laughs> like as long as I, as I, uh, as I have a toilet nearby, I am not gonna wait too long because that's only gonna deliver me pain. Both mental and physical pain. <laughs> okay. Now we have uh, this entire place filled with spiders. Do I need a torch? You don't need a torch, but you can use a torch if you want to. Are they going to attack me over here? Not instantly. I think they will attack me in this room. Right? Maybe if I open up this chest. Oh, yeah. So the thing that happens right now... Uh, I'm also overweight, I just noticed. <laughs> I'm... Uh, I'm over-encumbered. Because I'm doing a fat roll. In this game, a fat roll is like this. Which, in my opinion, still is relatively fine, but... Uh, what can I wear? Like, <laughs> I think I'll have to get rid of my drank leg stuff if I want to... And even still, holy shit. Uh, maybe I should wear... No, not that one. What can I wear that's not gonna be... Put me over... Okay. Brigand pants, maybe? No. I like this one more. There we go. So you open a chest and then like a little orb thing flies around and then you have to deal with spiders. Let's go and open up this door. Okay. So where is the summon sign to summon Benhart? Unless if I need to go and talk to Ben Hart somewhere and I missed him. That could also be the case. Um... Oh shit, I forgot to talk to him again. <laughs> Oops. You know, people, I think I'm going to go back because I really need to do the side quest. <laughs> well, I don't need to. I can technically kill him myself and get the sword that way. But I want to get the achievement of finishing his quest line, which I still need. So I might as well. Uh, let me go back over to my Judah. Let's go and talk to Ben Hart. Forgot to talk to him after I uh, got rid of the statue. If you will give me a couple of moments. While I run towards my destination like a fucking madman. Very slowly, of course. Because I don't got no speed. Uh, yeah, I, have, I need like 20k souls to level up right now. <laughs> Yeah. Not the biggest surprise when I'm level uh, 120. That's usually like the end game level in Dark Souls 3 for me. There he is, he's still here. No, no, names. A free owl, brother. I, I said true, I swear. Joy. I, I said true, I swear. There we go. I'm not gonna go over there because that's gonna screw me over, I think. Let me go run back, and I think I'll meet you guys uh, at the 
bus room. Or in front of the bus room, really. Um. <laughs> Game. <laughs> Where is the summon sign? Uh, I talked to him in... Yes. Ah, shit. Wait, huh? Bryce and Conosaur, in a tent near a collapsed building containing the Mimic at the Royal... Oh, you've got to be kidding me. He's all the way back there? Oh, man, what am I doing with my life? So, yeah, apparently his summon sign is in the Royal Encampment and not right next to the boss battle. Okay, cool. So I'll have to first run back to the Royal Camp and... Uh, then we'll finally get the show on the right. I already got the sign, I think. Woman, therefore brave. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Interesting maneuver. Right, so his summon signs should be somewhere in some kind of a tent. Kind of interested to see if uh, Ben Hart's gonna start going bonkers against his enemies. Because that would actually be kind of annoying. <laughs> There's no summon sign in here. Maybe I should just kill these enemies myself. So as you can see, the old uh, Knight Sword does a lot of freaking damage. But yeah, once again, it uh, has jack shit from durability. <laughs> right. I'm going to go and summon him, and I'm going to see what's going to happen. Summoning a phantom. Ah, the phantom. <laughs> so is he just going to go bonkers against the enemies, or is he going to follow me? Follow me, friend. There we go, he's gonna follow me. Nice. Nice! He might also get shot. One thing that I do really like in this game is that like a lot of enemies, I'm sorry, a lot of summons, and people just have like their own animations in general. Their own fighting styles, their own uh, walking styles and all jazz. I find it I find those to be like beautiful little details. Right, so I just need to make it so that he doesn't fall off or do something else that's stupid because <laughs> it is still an AI so to be able to finish Ben Hart's quest I am gonna have to summon him for uh, three boss battles and uh, I'm gonna have to make him survive until the end so the next boss that we're gonna be fighting he might have a weakness but I don't care <laughs> it's a ridiculous easy boss so it is in my opinion actually the easiest boss in I would say all of Dark Souls for me. It is such a ridiculously easy boss. Alright, Ben Hart. Ma 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 Sharona. Nice. In we go. He should normally follow me. You won't avoid that shit. He's gonna do an AoE. And kill two of your mages over here. Oh, well, Benhart's also here. Everybody's here. Even Benhart. Oh, fuck it, I don't care if I get hit. You're not gonna do jack shit of damage anyway, so. Ready? I missed. <laughs> Let me go and do this attack. There we go. Come on, Benhart. Fuck him up. There we go. And that's it. So that is one battle with Ben Hart, one. And you also get a Titanite Slap for beating this uh, boss battle. <laughs> and dog barking begins. It makes the sound of a metal ladder, but it's a wooden ladder. Interesting maneuver. Fading soul. A skeptic's spice. A bonfire ascetic. Ooh. A cleric's small shield. And another fading soul. Something yes, you have done. I regret <laughs> Cromwell. But now you yes, but if now. I really like uh Cromwell, a uh, Cromwell the partner. And you can buy the white priest armor from him, huh? Interesting. Are oh, these the normal ones? Yeah, just like bite rings. And then you also have miracles and a hex. 
and dark trochets if you want to. But I don't care. Whenever you, <laughs> Whenever you are ready. I also really like his voice. He has a good voice actor. I get myself a cracked eye orb. How long is this episode right now, though? That's the question that I'm having, because depending on how long this episode is, I do have an idea. So, my recording says 20 minutes, but I'm pretty sure that I spent uh, less than that on actual... Like, that I think, I don't know. <laughs> that I spent less than that time on uh, useless shite. Well, not useless stuff, but it's more like... Just, you know, forgetting things and fucking things up. Right. Uh, I think I would definitely appreciate more stamina. I'll have to upgrade my dexterity eventually and also my strength. Okay. I think for the next part, I'm gonna get rid of my battle axe. Reason being is because I need to go and do a boss in new game. Plus. Uh, am I overweight right now? No. Can I wear this? I can. Okay. I just want to get some... Well, you know what? I can go and wear uh, my hat again. And then I can wear the drunk like... Uh, leggings. There we go. Right. So, with our newly acquired bonfire aesthetic, let us return back over to... Huntsman's Cops. I think it's gonna be this one. That I'm gonna... Because after this one... Um, where's the third? Okay, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. I need to use the bonfire aesthetic on this thing to bring this entire place to New Game Plus because I hate myself. <laughs> Actually, no, because I need to. I need to get a second soul of um, of the uh, the chariot. As much as I don't like that boss too much, it's just a thing that I'm gonna have to do right now. It's gonna be a dude dropping down. I am pretty dang strong though, so I don't really think I'm gonna have too many issues, but I might. <laughs> and I'm ready to deal with them if they are there. Okay, he's gonna do the big old fire attack. Which is probably gonna do a lot of damage if it managed to hit me. Prisoner's gloves. I'm gonna kill you. And get myself a torch. Sure. This, of course, resets the entire area, so... I do kind of need to watch out with what I... Like, where I go, because... I don't want to invade. I don't want to be invaded by Forlorn again. There we go. I can go up here, go over the tiny bridge, and then it's time to go and deal with these boys again. Only this time, I have a battle axe. Did I have? A I don't think I had a battle axe before when I came in the first time, or I might have. I, I don't remember. I sure as hell don't have a battle axe plus 10 at that point. <laughs> right, let me go and get the attention of this guy, because otherwise this guy's gonna stab me in the back, which is... A bad situation. Alright, with my increased, uh, like, my improved bow. I'm actually gonna do half of their health in damage. That's pretty insane. Yeah, this guy's gonna also stun me there. Which is a little bit unfortunate. I'm not gonna lie. I, I was thinking, like, did I shoot him? I can hold an arrow and then shoot him when he comes close. There we go. Because it's gonna one-shot him anyway, so... <laughs> like, yeah, it's gonna kill him. At that point, so... That's pretty dang noise. I'm gonna shoot him in the head. Well, I would say that. If I actually could. Wow, he does even more damage. Which, would, which just, once again, makes a lot of sense, but... <laughs> You just gotta test it out, people. Oh. Why are they both coming this way? Yes. The other one's dead, though. <laughs> oh, only one attack? There we go. This, I think, is also going to reset the, uh, the phantom in front of the chariot boss battle. So I also want to go and take care of that dude. Whilst I kill even more of these dudes, of course. There we go. I'm going to use a life gem. Get my health up. 
he ended purgatory. It does not reset him. Wait, what? The boss isn't reset. Oh, shit. I was wondering why the enemies were so weak. Well, people. Fuck. <laughs> That's all I can say at this point. Just a big old fuck. So, I think the place where I was supposed to burn this thing was in the undead purgatory itself. So, yeah. Shit. Well, I guess we're gonna go and continue with this place then. <laughs> I know there's, a quite, there's quite a lot of uh, bonfire aesthetics in the game, so... It's not a disaster, it's just a little bit stupid. And kind of annoying. Oh, well. Um, and since we're gonna continue our other program, oh boy, great sword. That's gonna require <laughs> that's gonna require me to lose some weight. Let's see. That still puts me overweight. I think I need to go and get rid of the shield, maybe. Um, what shield can I wear? It's not too heavy. I can go wear this one. It doesn't have amazing blocking power, but it does also increase my stamina regeneration even more, which is going to help me against, uh, like, just when using this weapon. Because, as you can see, this weapon requires all of the uh, stamina, but also does a magic crap lot of damage, so... How did you hit me, even? God damn it. I don't know, but they are doing a lot of damage to me. Yeah, I don't have a lot of defense right now, so... That might come to bite me in the arse. So, can I... I think I can drop down here and get something. There's also the Titanite Lizard over there. I'm gonna jump and see how this is gonna work for me. There we go. <laughs> and I get a Titanite Chunk and a Petrified Dragon Bone. Cool. Nothing? Really? Making me do that epic move and just giving me nothing. Uh, let me go and jump over... I think over that way. My camera was stuck again for a moment. <laughs> that was a little bit scary. Getting myself some Dark Tight Knights. Getting hit in the face. And then falling to my doom. <laughs> Am I gonna finish? I'm d I don't think I can finish this area. But I do want to reach a certain point if I can. Right. Let's go and deal with these spiders again. <laughs> nice. Just being able to turn around like that is pretty dang nice. Ready? Ah, okay. Really? My souls are down there? Fuck. Okay then. That's 18k souls that I'm just gonna throw straight into the trash can because. There's no way in hell that I'm going to be able to <laughs> get those back. Right. This little Titanite Blizzard is actually going to blow itself up. So I kind of want to... Oh boy. Bowman Gun 3. How are these things even hitting me? Let me drink my fucking juice. And open up this door. Looks like I get shot in the back by this dude. I think I'll go in here first. Ow. Go and heal up because you're not gonna be able to stun me with those errors anyway. Wow, just dodging my attacks, huh? How dare you! <laughs> Interesting maneuver, buddy. Royal Swordsman Gloves. Cool. Go anyway, and kill the Spider Man. Can you just give me a thousand souls. I'm getting him. Maybe. Let's go and destroy these things. Oh, hello. Oh, hi, Mark. I think he gave me a hundred souls for killing him. The Crescent X, right. That's a Crescent X, yeah, no, Axe. That's one of the weapons that I still needed. And also Soul Vortex, of course. Titanite Chunk, nice. 
I can put that in one of the weapons that I want to use, maybe. Right. And we have this entire area where I think you can find some basisks. Oh, hello. These guys have green claws, and the green claws means that they can poison you, basically. Or at least some of them do. One of them in this room had a poison claw, so... There's nothing behind the bench. I do find this place to be very confusing. Two torches, nice. Eh? It's especially confusing to find one particular bonfire. So this is gonna make him drop all the way downwards. There's a fucking basket over here. Whomst I will just kill, because why not? Um. So this is the way forward, I think. Too heavy to open, right? Go and attack the door a couple of times. And there's just a lot of freaking sand falling off, like getting flown at. Right. Um. And yeah, it's locked. Don't know, I think I need like the Brightstone Cove key or something to open up that uh, particular door. Let me go and grab the item that I saw up here. Large Titan, nice heart, nice. Can I still go back? I think I can, right? Maybe? Um. Oh yeah. Can I jump onto that thing? There we go. <laughs> Ain't nothing gonna stop me, bruh. Let me go and shoot this little crystal lizard. So, they don't give you anything, I don't think so in any case. The only thing they do is blow up in your face and do a magic crap lot of damage to you. Let me go and shoot that one at a distance, because fuck him. While I wait for the magic to evaporate. There we go. And sayonara. Getting myself some dark trochets. And also, I don't have to deal with the mage. There's a bastard in here. Homestay is apparently invisible, invincible once so I... Yeah, sure. I don't care. So in here we can find... Some stuff. <laughs> some fer like a ferrous lockstone. And a flame butterfly. And we can also find her. So this is Ornifex's workshop. Ornifex is like a blacksmith, but she also trades in... Uh, the souls of the dead. No, in the crazy souls. She also sells the heavy crossbow and flame, like unlimited flame butterflies. So if you need one of the, like some of those, you can get this. But the thing I'm really interested in, however, is this stuff. The Lost Cinder Sword, which is a weapon that scales more with strength than dexterity. Huh? Oh. oh, she gives me one free weapon that I can uh, trade over. And we also have the Old King's Hammer. Which I will also go and get right now. Yes. Ah, well. Wait. Do you actually give me something if I... Hmm. I'm not sure. She might actually have something that she gives you if you pay enough souls to her. Or whatever. But I'll figure that stuff out later on. There's a door over here that is locked. That's not open from this side. So this is one of the most confusing... Well, yeah, I would say one of the most confusing bonfires to get in the game. <laughs> I never remember how to get it. Right. It's also a little bit annoying because if you want to get that stuff, you're going to have to drop down. And dropping down usually means also like not being able to get back up. Right. Can I jump on top of this thing somehow? I don't think so. You have to drop down into this thing. If you're wondering, there's an Esther shot in there, so that is very much worth it. Okay, if I want to continue exploring this area, I'm gonna have to return to the bonfire. So let me go and do that now. I want to get uh, the bonfire that's gonna lead me to Ornifex. And also the Titanite. I'm sorry, the uh, Esther Shard. Wow, I, did, I didn't manage to hit that one. That's interesting. 
You want to make my weapon and murder you. Okay. So, we need to be on that side. Well, I need to be on that side for that thing. So I'm first going to go and get that thing. And then I'll go and see about getting the Ornifex thing. Let's go over here. Get the Lark Titanite. Then drop down here. One shot you. Because I'm strong AF. And get my Estus Flask shard. Let's see. I think I need to be... Is other things going to be able to hit me? Not quite. I think I need to be on that ledge over there. Right. I have an idea about which direction I'm supposed to go. So let's go and see if we can actually get it. And then I can end up this probably pretty dang long episode. I'm not sure though. Because I am going to have to cut some stuff out. Because I was a dying this. But I just didn't know the specifics about it. A certain quest. There's also an item here that I did not get before. And kill the spider, because fuck him. And get a soul of a bright knight. That's what I get. Soul items are always useful, I would say. Or just about always. Right, and big old bonk. So. I think I need to drop down here. Can I please, like, drop down there? <laughs> there we go. Let me go and drink my Estus. Oh, hello. And then see about killing these two mages. Just fuck them. Okay. Uh, you can drop down there, but you're probably going to take a sizable amount of falling damage. So I wouldn't recommend doing that. There we go. Gotta go down the ladder. I'm gonna light the bonfire, and as you can see, there's also gonna be a million spiders. Now, another thing that I forgot to mention about the spiders is you can just run around with the torch, and they will not attack you. They will run away from you. So, if you don't wanna deal with the spiders, you can just run around with the torch, and we're gonna be fine. Now, there was another place I was supposed to find where something might happen. But that's gonna be something for next episode, I think, people. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Just What I was playing a Dark Souls 2. It's called the first sin. Strength built, and next episode we're gonna go and deal with the next part, which is just basically the rest of uh, this place. And maybe we're gonna do some optional stuff also. Goodbye.